the birth of a child brings joy to families and friends. That explains why many Africans, including Ghanaians, will go every length and explore other means, including what we call in vitro fertilization, IVF, to get a baby. But some childless married people are sometimes deterred by the cause of IVF and the complicated medical procedure. Well, uh, a form of IVF from Belgium, and that's a technology, is said to drastically eliminate these adults. The first fetus to be formed using the Belgian IVF technology was delivered right here in Ghana. Uh, it took place just yesterday. So, Joy News, Maxwell Agbaba was in the theater with a team of doctors and has come through with this report. <laughs> The patient monitor inside Theatre 2 of the Pentecost Hospital is beeping, an indication all is set for the grand delivery of the first baby using the Belgian IVF technology. About seven medical personnel from the Pentecost Hospital have gathered around a bed. On the bed, a 35-year-old woman we choose to call Mami Akosia lies in a supine position. She's been anesthetized to reduce the pain. Mami Akosia, who has tubal blockages, has been trying to conceive for the past eight years. But now, that movement that only played out in a mind's eye is happening. Outside the theater, some anxious nurses of the hospital are watching the caesarean section through a glass window. They cannot be blamed. It is the first time the hospital is trying this minimal cost of IVF. Outside the theater, I've met Nanayo Osei at the fertility center. Nanayo is the CEO of the Association of Childless Couples of Ghana. Nanayo's organization, which was formed in 2012, seeks to support married people who are childless. He has been telling me how he came into contact with the Belgian IVF technology that is helping couples at a lesser cost. Decided to research into that. Um, that led me to come across some Belgians who had developed a new method for doing the in vitro fertilization that brings down the price. It, now, the key difference between the conventional method, which is being done by all the fertility centers in Ghana, apart from the Pentecost Hospital, you know, has to do with the cost involved. Now, they use very sophisticated equipment, you know, and kits in treating the couples. But this method was developed using simplified equipment with the IVF, holding other things constant. Um, couples will pay not less than 18,000 Ghanaian cities for the treatment. But with our method, um, we currently charge 6,000 cities for the treatment. Now, you see, this could still come down further. Um, but you see, in view of the um, importation, the duty on the kids, there is um, one aspect also that has to do with the what is known as the stimulation protocol. That has to do basically with the injections and the drugs that are given to the women to enable them to produce eggs. You know, that will be fetched for the treatment. Now, with the conventional method, they give them a lot of injections, a lot of um, um, drugs, you know, so they produce more eggs. Now, we, on our part, use what is known as mild stimulation protocol arrangement, where we do not give a lot of injections, we do not give a lot of drugs. Now, the advantage with this one, of course, the conventional method can also adopt the mild stimulation method. Let me add that. But we basically use the mild stimulation method. The advantage with this also is that it prevents women from getting what is known as um, OHSS, ovarian hyper stimulation syndrome where sometimes you could have um, the ovaries of the woman getting swollen as a result of the injections and then the drugs that are given them. I am back in the theater as the medical personnel led by Dr. Gordon Atto continue to ensure a successful delivery. But soon... <laughs> The much-awaited cry of a baby is here, and he is a boy. The medical doctor who led the team, Dr. Gordon Ni Amaato, retweets, the science behind the IVF technology was not changed. 
the only distinguishing factors are the cost, which is a major deterrent in the complicated process, which was eliminated. Dr. Atta believes with the introduction of this process, married people, irrespective of their socioeconomic status, will be able to afford in vitro fertilization. I'm excited and uh, I think all of us in the hospital are very excited for this historic um, day. Um, we are short of words, to God be the glory. Basically, the science is the same. But then we are being more efficient in terms of uh, cutting costs. Mm. So we avoid wastage. Mm. We do minimal stimulation mm. so that we don't use so much drugs um, to add on to the cost. And then basically, if the person is not, doesn't have any problem, the person is discharged. Mm. It goes home just like any other pregnancy. Most pregnancies are made at home, mm. and nobody, like I said, is admitted. Mm. So we don't see why they should be admitted for long. My desire is that IVF will become a part of the normal clinical setting in Ghana. In some jurisdiction, it's even sponsored by health insurance. Mm. But the things are so expensive. Everything is gotten from outside, mm. and that makes it a bit more expensive for majority of couples to afford. My desire is that um, by and by we would be able to do something to make IVF very affordable for all. And that's the desire of uh, TW um, Ghana and then the Pentecost Hospital. Mm -hmm. So affordability is mm -hmm. the process. Okay. In Ghana, we are doing so well mm -hmm. with the conventional IVF. Mm -hmm. Lots of centers are doing marvelous things. But we need to find a way of cutting down costs, mm -hmm. reducing the um, price so that mm -hmm. people will benefit. Okay. Yeah. So saying that when you were born, you were born crying and everybody around you was laughing. But live your life such that when you die, everybody will be crying whilst you would be laughing. This baby boy just gave true meaning to that. He's been crying since he was delivered here at a Pentecost hospital. It is a beautiful world indeed. And he's welcome to our world. Can I, can I hold it?